uh, ISRO's Earth Observation Satellite EOS-07, Janus-1 belonging to Antares of the United States of America, and Azadi Sat-2 belonging to Space Kiss India and Chennai, have lifted off and have been separated by this rocket from the first launch pad at Srihari Kota. It was a 15-minute flight. Let's listen in now to the ISRO chairperson. Satellite direct. Ravi. So congratulations, the space community of India. So we have a new launch vehicle, small satellite launch vehicle SSLV. In its second attempt today, SSLV D2 has placed the EOS-07 satellite in its indented orbit very accurately. Along with the EOS-07, two more satellites were also placed in the required orbit, Janus-1 by through NSIL and from the Antares and ASA this sat through in space uh, by the, realized by the space kids. So congratulations to all three satellite teams for making uh, the satellites as well as placing in the right orbit and I wish all the very best to the rest of the operations of the satellite for accomplishing their mission goals. Probably all of you are aware that SSLV had its maiden flight SSLV D1 and we had a narrow miss of placing the satellite in the orbit because of a shortfall in velocity and I'm very happy to report that we have analyzed the problems faced in the SSLV D1, identified the corrective actions, implemented in a very fast pace, qualified all of those new systems, went through large amount of simulations and studies to ensure that the vehicle will become success this time and I'm very happy to see that the really intended model of the vehicle has been executed in reality in flight. So we have also a good news that the orbit achieved by the vehicle today using its very novel, cost effective and very innovative guidance and navigation system is exceedingly good. We were targeting to put it in a 450 kilometer orbit. We have very, very close apogee and perigee as well as inclination is very, very small error only and this, is, this also shows that the, mo the new model of the vehicle navigation system and the electronics that you incorporate in SSLV is doing very well. Before I speak further, I would like to introduce very important people who have worked behind the scenes to make this mission success. First and foremost is the mission director of SSLV, Sri S. Vinod who is a veteran of the PSLV era, who has taken this task of developing this vehicle along with a small team of people. I think they have toiled for the first mission as well as second mission. Now I will hand over to him to talk about the vehicle and also then to uh, the project director of the satellite, EOS-07, Sri Ravichandra Babu will speak after that. Over to you. Thank you, sir. Let me first say good morning ISRO and good morning India. It's a momentous occasion for us. It's a proud occasion for ISRO that we have now a new launch vehicle to be offered to the launch vehicle community. It all began in 2018, a journey which started in 2018 at reached its intended destination today. The journey which has travelled through its nascent phase of configuration, realization, fabrication, testing, analysis, and finally it even had to overcome the COVID phase. It reached the launch pad last year and we had the maiden flight in August, 7th August. As mentioned by Chairman, we had a small anomaly observed in that and we couldn't put the satellites in the intended orbit. But detailed analysis further by a number of teams was carried out and we were able to pinpoint the problem in the system and we had to overcome that and I would, I would like to say that we overcame that and in the shortest period of on five minutes or five months we have come back. 
in the shortest period of five months, we had to realize five new hardwares, a new separation system. In addition to that, we have to make modification to the navigation and the guidance scheme and also carry out a lot of testing to make the system robust. Today, we could accomplish with this launch the laid objective of SSLV, that's to have a low cost, low turnaround time satellite which can offer launch on demand. This would not have been possible but for the effort of a number of people. I think the entire ISRO has worked for us. The launch vehicle team in VSSC, the navigation, the navigation team in IASU, the propulsion team in propulsion, liquid propulsion team in LPSC, we had the range team and also the ISTRAC team and also the satellite team jiving with us to realize this happen. I thank all of them for the tremendous support they have offered to us. And of course, we derive our confidence from our review mechanism. There have been a lot of review mechanism, and starting from the design review, the configuration review, then the post-flight review, the post-test analysis, all those things, the review mechanism has helped us, and I today acknowledge the rigorous review conducted by all the review committee and thank them for the support. I also thank the management, which had shown confidence in the relatively new small team to realize this new launch vehicle for ISRO in the shortest period which is possible. Especially our chairman, Sri Somnath, who is the main architect of the vehicle and he is considered as the system engineer for this. And he has been the main support for us, always helping out in, in all the conditions and so that we are able to resolve all our issues and come back on track. Thank you very much, sir, for the support you have offered to us. I would like to thank the satellite team also led by Sri Ravichandra Bahu. They also made the satellite in the shortest possible time with the innovative technology and they were able to jive with our launch. And I would also thank the confidence shown by Ensil and InSpace for assigning two more passenger payload to us in the development phase itself. Last but not the least, I would like to thank the family members of ISRO for the support and the motivation they give to us, which makes us to do things like this. And on a personal note, I would like to thank my wife, Smitha, who also helped me in my situation of a medical emergency for the past three months. She has been supporting me mentally and physically. So as I last, I would say that we would be coming back soon with the next launch of SSLV to make ISRO as well as the nation proud. Jai Hind.